Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own shop on Facebook. So in order to set up your shop on Facebook, you actually will need to have a business account. If you haven't had one yet, I suggest you to create a business account first and then watch this tutorial, but you already have one, then we can go along and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is to log in into your Facebook account. And then once you're at this home page, you're going to go and click on the ads manager on the left side of your screen. Next, you're going to see this page right here. And on the top left of your screen, you're going to see a campaign options. And if you have more than one business page or you have more than one Facebook campaign, you can choose on whichever campaign or whichever business page you will want to use to create your shop. I only have mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And then you're going to go to the menu on the left side of your screen and click on all tools. Next, new menu are going to pop up and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down and you're going to find a commerce manager option. Once you found that, you're going to want to click on that and click on get started. And now you're going to choose a way to sell. So they're going to offer you to create a shop or to create a catalog. Because this is the first time for us to create our shop, we're going to go ahead and click on create a shop and then click on get started. Next, we are going to insert some details to create our shop. So the first thing you're going to see is this get started page. And once you're here, you can just go ahead and click on next. And over here, you can start and set up your partner platform. If you already have an account on some of these platform, let's say you have an account on Shopify or Big Commerce, you can go ahead and click on those platform. I don't really have any, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And over here, you will have the options to give customers a way to pay. You can choose whether you want to use a checkout with Facebook or Instagram, or you can just click on checkout on another website. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And in the sections, we're going to have to create a new page for our shop. So go ahead and click on create a new page and start inserting the name of your shop. I'm going to insert Sunshine's Market as the name of my page. And after we insert the name of the page, we're going to want to choose a category of what our shop is going to be. You can type out the category for your shop on the text bar over there. And you can choose more than one category, but I'm just going to use accessories for now. And you can also insert a short bio for your shop. You can explain the type of business that you're doing or the service that you offer if you're opening, let's say, a service provider. Or you can also just explain a little bit about what your business is. Once we're done creating our page, we're going to go ahead and click on that page and then we're going to click on next. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect your page to your business account. I already created mine. That's why in the beginning of the video, I told you to create a business account first if you haven't got one already. But if you still watch this video and you still haven't created your own business account on Facebook, you can just go ahead and click on create a new business account down there. Again, I already have mine, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my business account and then click next. And then you're going to want to choose on where does your goods deliver to. You can choose any countries that you want. You can choose even more than one. But for today, I'm just going to choose UK and Australia. No reason, actually. I just wanted to choose those two for now. Again, feel free to choose on the countries that you would like to deliver your goods to. If you don't want to scroll all the way down just to find specific countries, you can just go ahead and type out the name of the country. And then Facebook is going to give you an overview of your shop. You can take a look at your sales channel, delivery destination, checkout method, etc. And if you feel like everything is correct, you can go ahead and click on the seller's agreement 
tick box and then click on finish setup and now we're just going to wait until our store is ready and this is how it will look like once your loading is finished you can see that you will still have to verify your business and organizations once your store is ready so make sure to do that if you want to start publishing your store because if your verification is not done yet you will not be able to publish your store and your customer will not be able to access it but if you see this page right here it means that you have already successfully created your shop you just have to finish the additional setup in order for you to fully publish your shop now once your shop is ready you will also want to add some product to your catalog and you can do that by simply clicking on the add products to catalog sections click add item button and over here you can choose your preferred options to insert your product to your catalog you can insert your product manually or you can also use data fit which means that you can just upload your let's say google sheets or excels to this page or you can also use Facebook pixels to automatically add items from your website but for now I'm just going to show you how you can insert your product manually so this is how your catalog list is going to look like you can see there is a column for images title description and website link so you can totally insert your product from another website you can also insert images to show your customer how your product will look like and you can also add some items by clicking on the new items button and you have a similar product only with different details you can also choose to duplicate the items or add the variant if you want to add your pictures, simply click on the image symbols and you can freely upload your pictures over there. Make sure to pay attention to the maximum amount of character in the title and descriptions box. You can see that for the title, there is 200 maximum amount of character and for description, there is almost unlimited amount of character that you can insert. But just make sure that you're going to describe your product as clear as possible so that when people are reading the description, they understand what kind of product you are selling. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do if you want to set up your own shop on Facebook.com. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.